Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute, Kane. You have become desensitized from watching pornography. You have become desensitized from watching filth. From having instant and unlimited access to activate your dopamine receptors whenever you want. And on top of that, looking at a limited amount of filth excuse me, filth that your heart desires. You can allow your mind to wander and your mind to run wild and anything you feel the need to type into the search bar, you can have access to. Your deviancy, any type of fantasy you may have or will have in the future or can think of, all you have to do is enter it and you can begin to engage in it. Now, how does this help us as human beings? How does this help, uh, help us in life? It teaches us that we don't have to work for things, that we can simply push a button and have that dopamine, push a button and have that reward. This is dangerous. How can you become your best version? How can you build an impeccable work ethic and build discipline when you have access to instant dopamine like that, equivalent to getting unlimited likes on social media. It's never enough, right? Your reward chemical. Being rewarded for nothing, being rewarded without having to put the work in. I know y'all see the merch. We up live right now, man. Go support the merch, go support the movement. I had one of the kings hit me up about a month ago and he said where is the merch king he said i want to show my support so you need to create some merch so man that made me feel good that you guys love what i'm doing man you guys want to continue to grow and build the movement so i went ahead and created merch for you guys link is in the description go show your love go show your support as always thank you back into the video so like I said, when we have instant gratification, when we have dopamine right at our fingertips, how does this affect us with actually dealing with real life human beings, dealing with real women? It doesn't affect us good. It affects us in a bad way because we become desensitized. I remember when my father first found my porn collection, he told me, you know, everything's okay, it's natural, but his only issue and his only worry was he feared that I would become desensitized to real, you know, real girls at the time because, you know, I, I, I wasn't, you know, of age, trying to choose my words carefully for YouTube algorithm, but I wasn't of age and he said, you know, it's normal. He didn't make me feel bad, but he said, understand, this is not real. And I thank him for that. He, he, you know, he broke that down to me. And I know a lot of you guys say you look at me like a big brother or father figure. And I want to give you that same love. I want you to understand that that's the, that's the issue with pornography. It, it creates a false narrative and a false reality of what real life is and what real intimacy is. It desensitizes us on every level. Not just physical in battling ED, it desensitizes us spiritually as well. It desensitizes us mentally. So a lot of young guys out here, as well as older guys, who believe that the things they see in pornography is real life. Now you're trying to sleep with your teacher because you've seen it in the porno. Mess around, catch a, a sexual assault charge, and your life is ruined. And it's different levels. It's, it's you know... Deviancy, fantasy, fetish, all this stuff is wicked, man. And it, it minimizes real human interactions, which is what we should ultimately aim for, is to deal with each other as human beings. And that could be very dangerous for your growth, 
especially guys who out there who battle with social anxiety and guys who battle with uh, confident issues. This is moving in the opposite direction of what you are trying to overcome. Because when you have access to that and that at your fingertips, you don't feel the need to go deal with actual women. You don't feel the need for real life interaction because you can just get yourself off on your computer and then go on about your day. See how dangerous that is? See how toxic that is? So this is why we, you know, promote nofap. This is why we promote no pornography, no masturbation is because it allows you to not only reserve your number one life source as a man, it allows you to regain that energy and that confidence as well as build that confidence, that charisma, become more assertive. You become all these things all by retaining and maintaining your seed as well as getting away from those images, excuse me, that imagery. Because it's a false reality. It's virtual. Like I say, it's virtual cuckolding. And you deserve better. So the reason you're battling with ED is because you have become desensitized from all the pornography you watch, all the fapping you do. And this is my challenge to you to go three months without it and work your way up to three months. It don't have to be three months right away, but work your way up to three months. And when you get to three months, I need you to come back here and let me know, as well as the other kings know, how you benefited, how it benefited you, how it changed your life. Did you see more confidence? Did you have more energy? Did you feel more charismatic? Or at least were you able to begin to work on these things and build these things because you had more time on your hands because your hands wasn't occupied by yourself. No pun intended. On second thought, all pun intended. I need y'all to understand that this is not just a challenge. This is a lifestyle. No free validation. Female nature. We ain't validating these women for free. It's a lifestyle. No fat. Lifestyle. Seamer retention. Lifestyle. It's who we are, kings. Just like you're anxious to show you're making gains in the gym, or you're anxious to rock that new gym t-shirt or that gym hoodie, you have to wear this as well as a badge of honor. Because this is ultimately going to change your life for better and help you become the more alpha version of yourself and overall the best version of yourself. So stop treating this as a challenge and allow it to become your lifestyle. Allow it to become who you are and what you believe in and how you carry yourself throughout the day. And you will see the changes and then on a, a manifestation level, law of attraction level, we attract who we are, meaning if you are a positive human being, you attract more positivity. If you are negative, you attract more negativity. So when you live this and become this on every aspect, whether it's no fap, semen retention, female nature, you attract more of that. You attract more benefits from that. You attract more good results from that. Because you live it, you breathe it, you are it. It's who you is. It's not something you're trying to be. It's not something you're trying to become. It's not something you want. It's something you already have in you. Therefore, the universe, excuse me, the universe can only send more of what you already are. Salute. If you enjoyed that video, show Alpha Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.